There's been data collected for over 40 years that shows that women with rheumatoid arthritis appear to have a higher risk for infertility. Going back to data from the 1960s, um, it appears that women who have rheumatoid arthritis have fewer children than their neighbors. And interestingly, this held true in women who were diagnosed with rheumatoid arthritis after they'd had all their kids. So even when they were diagnosed in their 50s and 60s, well after they had children, even those women had fewer children than their neighbors, suggesting that perhaps something, there's something in women with rheumatoid arthritis that makes it harder for them to get pregnant. We've done studies more recently that show similar information that our women with rheumatoid arthritis appear to have um, difficulty getting pregnant, particularly women who are diagnosed young. So if you're diagnosed before you've had your kids, we tend to see pretty high rates of infertility in some of those patients. Um, some studies up to 30 to 40 percent will have a hard time getting pregnant. Fortunately, most women will succeed in getting pregnant, but a lot of them will actually need fertility treatment um, in order to achieve a pregnancy. We have a, found a few things that seem to drive the infertility to some extent. So one of the things that seems to drive it is the age of the woman. That's just a general thing. Women who are over the age of 30, and particularly over the age of 35, just have a harder time getting pregnant than women who are young. But specifically to rheumatoid arthritis, we see that taking a lot of NSAIDs, so medications like ibuprofen or naproxen, Taking multiple doses of that per week seemed to make it difficult to get pregnant. We think it actually might be changing the way that, the, that a woman is ovulating to some extent, being it so she doesn't ovulate quite as often as she would otherwise. In addition, women who have really active rheumatoid arthritis appear to not conceive as well. So women who have uh, quiet disease do better in terms of getting pregnant. In addition, women who are taking higher doses of prednisone in the studies, it looks like 7.5 milligrams or higher really seems to be kind of the cutoff. But requiring that much prednisone every day also seems to be associated with not getting pregnant. So that tells us that sort of the, the old way that we used to manage pregnancy and the old way that people used to manage pregnancy is um, the doctor would just tell the woman to stop all of her rheumatoid arthritis medications when she wanted to get pregnant. And we'll just manage you with some ibuprofen and some prednisone if you need it. So I can tell you, and I'm sure that most women living with rheumatoid arthritis can tell you that when they stop all of their medicines, a lot of them will have increased disease activity and will have flares. And therefore, they'll have active disease, they'll need a fair amount of ibuprofen to get through the day, and they'll probably need prednisone, all things that make it really hard to get pregnant. So our, my approach now is to, um, to avoid the fertility issues is to actually control disease activity with pregnancy compatible medications. So we don't let people flare ahead of time if we can help it. We try to avoid prednisone if we can help it and we try to avoid NSAIDs if we can, um, keeping them comfortable by decreasing inflammation with other drugs. Women with inflammatory arthritis are at a slight increased risk for having some pregnancy complications. The key ones we see are preterm delivery, um, as well as uh, babies being born a little bit smaller than you'd expect them to be, or what we call small for gestational age. So when we talk about preterm delivery, you know, most pregnancies are 40 weeks long. That's when the due date is set at 40 weeks. As long as you deliver within three weeks of that, so up to 37 weeks, um, then that's considered normal or term delivery. But delivering before that, four, five, six weeks before your due date is when we really call a baby preterm. And that we can see slightly higher when we look in women with rheumatoid arthritis. Um, when we think about women with lupus or more systemic internal organ disease, um, we tend to see even higher rates of preterm delivery than we do with inflammatory arthritis. But we can see inflammatory arthritis causing um, preterm birth and it seems to be particularly associated when the inflammatory arthritis is really active in pregnancy. So in my experience, women who have their disease well controlled on compatible medications um, often, more often go to term, whereas patients who um, are not either taking medications during pregnancy and their arthritis is active, or whose arthritis we just can't get under control with pregnancy safe medicines, then they tend to be the people who have more preterm delivery.